Welcome viewers to a new series of your Premium Salas 4. I've decided to abandon my Japanese playthrough because, well, for the most part, people don't seem particularly interested in it. So, oh well, that's alright. So instead, let's start something else. And this time, let's do try and go for an achievement. Now, there are several things I could try. And I think the one thing I've never really managed to show off is actually get into the late game. Every single game so far, by the 1600s, game's already over. And I think it's a real shame because it misses out on literally half the game. So how about let's go for a nation with an achievement that pretty much forces me to go into a late game and also puts me in a perilous position from day one. I am talking of course about Albania. Albania is a single province minor. They border the Ottomans and they also border Venice and they border Serbia. Venice, if I remember right, I'm pretty sure it's a free claim on my only province. And to make things even more fun, the Ottomans start off with a core of my province, which means generally what happens is as soon as they allow, they declare war on Albania and it's knights out for, you know, Albania. Yeah, goddess. So yeah, things don't look great for the start of Albania. So, what can possibly be wrong trying it out? Now you might be wondering, what's achievement called? Well, the achievement is called Albania or Iberia. And that requires you to get the entirety of the Iberian Peninsula plus the entirety of the Caucasus. Now that might sound really weird. What does Albania and Iberia have anything to do with each other? Simple. This region here, historically, is called Albania and Iberia. There's like two different parts to it. One's called Albania, one's called Iberia. Now, yes, this is also called Iberia, this is also called Albania. So, you can certainly see why this is going to be the long haul. So the initial challenge is to not die, and the late game challenge is to somehow take over these two parts of the world. So, what can possibly go wrong? This is very hard difficulty. Let's do it. Iron of course. So, here we are. We have a grand army of four. What's my plan? Well, my plan is to move away from this perilous position. So we are going to no CB someone as soon as possible. So we aren't in the immediate threat of dying. I believe no one is going to be our ally. Naturally, that's standard practice. Part of the course, if you will. Now, my first question is, how big is Serbia? Military. Serbia. Serbia has a grand army of 7k with. Sorry, 12k with a force of 17, so that's pretty terrifying. So we have to somehow best that if I want to attack Serbia. Alternatively, I can attack someone else. Who? I can try to no CB Lucker and play as a Lucker game. Basically, we want to get away from this position because, as I said, uh, Ottoman start off with a core in our province. And actually, I'm mistaken. Venice starts off with a core in my province as well. So our free claim is a free core. So that's lovely. And both of which will want to gobble us up pretty quickly. Now, we do have one advantage that we can try to take advantage of. We have Prince. Gerdjerj Skanderbeg Kastor Troti Yeah, I know, I probably just butchered that horribly But the point is, this guy is amazing He's a 656 at a prime age of 39 And I believe he's also a general Skanderbeg With 5550 Who's this man you might be wondering? Well, Skanderbeg was famously He was a general within the Ottoman army He was uh, effectively, he's, he's kidnapped from his family at a young age to train up to be a commander in the Ottoman army and uh, he betrayed the Ottomans and started his own rebellion. And here we are. He is broken free from the Ottoman yoke. The only question is, for how long? So like I said, our first goal is to no CB someone. Possibly Serbia, possibly Bosnia. Bosnia has an army of how big? Because we can call Bosnia. It doesn't look, might not look like it, but we can definitely call Bosnia. Now, neither of them will truly help us because I think the only way we can really survive this is 
by um, joining the Holy Roman Empire, that'd be the easiest way of surviving this. But I don't really see how because to join, I need, I need to be adjacent to a, an HRE province. Serbia's not in it. Bosnia's not in it. Venice is not in it. Naples is not in it. Nor is Papal State. So that's gonna be really tricky trying to get out of starting position. Uh, so yeah, okay. I mean, I guess I could no CB Theodoro. That works too, but I can't call Theodoro, and if I get fully annexed, that's game over. Okay, so what to do? Well, I think, first things first, and this works much better, I, I imagine, if this was not very hard. If this was normal difficulty, I believe I can no CB Serbia and win no problem. But, obviously, that's not the case. Uh, so, we need troops. If Ottomans declare on us, it's obviously game over. We have uh, merchants, let's start having a merchant collect in Ragusa. This is a Ragusa node. And let's have a merchant collect in Venice. Okay, what else can we do? We can convert our only province, which is uh, Orthodox. I can convert over to Catholicism because it's my state religion, but I actually don't particularly care about that. Do I want to stay Orthodox? I mean, do I want to stay Catholic or do I want to convert Orthodox? I think I might try to convert Orthodox because uh, there's a whole bunch of new mechanics in the third Rome expansion, which just came out a couple weeks ago now. I've actually recently played a game as Ryzen, and the whole bunch of mechanics added to Orthodox, so I think I might try to become Orthodox. Uh, so let's start converting our only province and turn the maintenance down low. Next, we have no allies, but I'm going to build up an army, the best I can. We have no fort as in our capital, and I won't be surprised if Ottomans decide to declare on me straight away. They want my provinces. They, I have a core of theirs, yeah, it's not great. Okay, I have two free diplomats. I am going to start improving with Austria. Not so I can join the Holy... Uh, not, not so I can uh, become his ally, because that's not going to happen, but so I can try to join the Holy Roman Empire somehow somehow is not going to be easy. I wonder if luck is even in coring range. I suspect it's not. In fact, is there an easy way I can even tell? Um, I don't think there is an easy way for me to tell whether or not something is in coring range uh, for non colonized for colonized, for like provinces with someone owning it already. I mean, what other choice do I have? I really don't see any other choices here. I'm struggling to find any other choice other than uh, no C being someone. I mean, we're not going to survive into the first year. Okay, so we're going to have an army of 6k against 12k. I can merc up, take loans to try and get it up to... If I can get 10k, I think I can take on Serbia. Crazy? Sure. What I'm going to do is park my entire army in Zeta with 6k. Uh, we won't be able to actually be uh, start... We won't be able to start fighting for at least another... Jesus, 200 days. Hmm. Well, this is faster. This is gonna be faster. I. Oh my god, my loads are pathetic. I'm so gonna go bankrupt off this. This is insane. Uh, they really upped the merc cost to make it just really hard. This takes 25 days. Well, let's hope we survive. If we get declared on, we're dead. We have a free diplomat, I'm gonna leave that diplomat free. Yep, things are happening. This is silly, this is insane. What am I doing? Oh, I have boats. I have boats. I could no CV Byzantium. I have boats. My culture is uh, West, is it West? No, Southern Slovak. I believe. Yep, South Slavic. And my personal poetry group is just this. I believe I have a core on... Yep, I have a core on Venice lands. I could declare on Venice, but that's suicide. I'm not going to win against Venice by myself. No, I'm on 4k. If I'm on like 12k, I think I could win against Venice. But my force limit is only 6. Very hard to skip this particular achievement. Quite hard. And I'm actually... I don't know. This is kind of crazy. I'm, these boats are kind of useless. They're not going to help me whatsoever. So do I really want to keep them? 
Not particularly. I think what I'll do is protect trade with you. Uh, I'm going to protect trade in Venice. And I'm gonna have these galleys and cogs. I don't need them. So can I sell them someone? Like Venice. Would you be interested in some boats? Uh, Venice doesn't like me. Okay. Hey, Naples. Would you be interested in some boats? No, you would not. Uh, what's the problem? Buying would exceed the force limit. They want fewer galleys and they want fewer transport. Okay, I, that can be arranged. So you want... Let's give you two galleys. Uh, not this. Two galleys for 20. Sounds good. My prince, Naples has accepted our offer to buy the rather worthless fleet, second fleet for a sum of 20 ducats. Excellent. Next. Hey, Papal State. You want boats? I got boats. Okay, what is wrong with this? You want one fewer transport and it will exceed your force limit. Well, let's remove the transport and see how that goes. There. Three galleys, two transports. Papal State, sell ships. Um, well, you, you buy the two galleys. Yeah, you're happy to buy two galleys. Okay, Papal State, here. Oh, wait, two galleys for the price of one. Uh, no, I'm not that cheap. Hey, Urbino, you're rich, I'm sure. Two galleys for the price of one. Uh, who else can we talk to? Saina. Yeah, no. Uh, okay, would you, what, would you... Would any of you buy a cog of me? You would totally buy a cog of me for a price of zero, but not for the price of one. Great, okay. This is a promising start. Um, okay, let's... One transport, two galleys. It's possible we won't be able to get much more out of this. Uh, how about Byzantium? Byzantium, my best buddy old pal. Sell ships. Okay. Man, none of you guys are willing to, willing to give me a good deal. This is a terrible deal, man. Three gay and two cars for a price of 20. Seriously? I'm just trying to raise an army here. You're not helping out. Wait, why am I building cavalry? Shit. God damn it. I hate... I hate when I misclick and build cavalry and self-infantry. Ah, oh, so frustrating. Man, these guys are so stingy. I hate these guys. Aragon, you're rich. Also, two galleys for a price of one. I feel like that's the best I can get. I mean, what if I would give you only one galley? Okay, one galley. Sell ship. I'll give you one galley. And you give me... No, that's one transport. Where's the one galley? One galley. You won't give me anything. Okay. Well. Let's try that again. How much would you give me for this? You want two fewer transport or one fewer galley? How much would you give me for that then? Two fewer transports, one fewer galley. Ten ducats. No. Yes. No. Wait, what's your issue now? We'll exceed your force limit. Okay. I will take off one galley. And these people are. You give me 20 ducats for it. 10 ducats for that. Well, whatever. Give me 20 ducats. Cool. Let's go take a while to come back. Now, Ottomans, stay away. Go away. No one likes you. I'm pretty sure I have no rivals. Yep. Okay, next. Uh, Papal State. To rip off. Can I, can I get 20 ducats if I give you one extra ship? Whoops. Uh, that's our ship. 3 ducats. Sounds good. Okay, that's my entire fleet. Sold. Excellent. And already it's too late to attack Serbia. That is okay. Venice has. Wow, Venice has allies. That's unusual. Well, here's what I can hope now. Okay, 
and just might take several restarts. Ooh, what if? Yes, I have a plan for me in my head. I have a, I have a plan. Okay, if the ultimates declare on me, I have a plan. The plan involves Ragusa. Okay, Poland, how's... Oh, we're guaranteed by Serbia. Well, funny that. Okay, so, Poland tells us of the successor of Vladislaw III. We are among the possible options they went with. We need uh, your Galon as your, uh, as your choice, of, uh, choice of action. Can't talk for a second there. So, Lithuania is now under the PU of uh, Poland. Good, I guess. Now, hopefully, Ottomans won't bother us. Lucker has joined a trade league left by Venice. Whatever. You traitor, Lucker. I remember playing as you. I never joined Venice. Well, I joined Genoa. <laughs> uh, hi, Ottomans. You are not welcome here. Oh. Well, fancy that. Fancy that. I did say I was hoping Venice would declare on me. So, they have 22,000. That's okay. We have the Gordon of Skanderbeg. So, uh, Serbia, if you would be so kind to attach to me, that would be great. You and your 12k troops. And my plan is if I can take Dalmatia or Istria, I'll be able to join the Holy Roman Empire. That's why I'm, I'm, I am improving with Austria. And I'm really hoping here. How many boats do you have? Probably a lot. Ooh, reclaim Avonia. Yes, let me just reclaim that from the Ottomans, okay? Let me. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Was I trying to incite a rebellion? Yes, I was. Am I paying for them? Hope not. I hope I did it right. Yes, which remains zero. Which means I currently have Orthodox Zealots wanting to show up. Uh, eventually. Might take a while. Albania occupied Durazio. This is a Grassland province. These two are both hill provinces. Uh, Serbia, please attach. Serbia? No, 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 no. Serbia? You idiot. You're gonna lose everything. You're gonna lose me the war. Serbia? Okay, I can defend the mountains with 5k against 10k. It's gonna be a very hard fight. Unless Serbia comes and help me out. Now, I believe Venice won't be able to get land access to me. So, we'll see. Muscovy declared on Novgorod. Of course they did. You will arrive here. Well, not until the fleet battle is over, so never at this point. 28th of next month. Come on, Serbia. Attach to me. Serbia? Okay, I have 6k now. Ottomans declare on Kandor. Excellent, they declare on me. So 6k versus 10k. They have no general. I have Skandergod. And I'm in mountains. And he has taken naval landing penalty. So, uh, hey, Serbia's coming to help my aid. Excellent. They don't stand a chance. You will arrive on 10th of August. You will arrive on 3rd of August. Awesome. Let's watch the slaughter. Oh, whoops, that means have a game to go so fast. Well, let's watch. So, they have a penalty to their morale compared to mine. Same tactics, and they have higher discipline somehow. Okay. Surprising. So, we've rolled a zero, but despite that, they have a negative three. Look at those numbers. <laughs> we're literally... Okay, during the shock phase anyway, we're literally, literally ten to one. Okay, stack wipe. <laughs> Need a trade gained. Ow, general, Skanderbeg, the goal-orientated trade. Move speed plus ten percent. That's good. Okay, uh... Do you have anything set? About well, interest? No, you don't. Oh, that's promising. They are domineering towards me. Lovely. I want that. Just saying, I also want that. Now, I believe I can actually take Istria without seizing on any forts. The reason is, Istria is alone with no land attachments to any other uh, 
any other Venetian holdings. Now, who's at war with me other than Venice's vassals? Nobody. Okay, that sounds good. So, Venice, would you like to send another army to uh, feed me? Because that sounds really nice. And can you just attach to me, you stupid Serbia? I mean, I got a war go, so... In the meantime, of course, I'm going to keep improving with Austria. When the Ottomans come knocking, they only have a core on Lezzi. They don't have a core on this province here. So... Right, okay. So, I think when they come knocking, I'll probably just give them Lezzi. Because I don't have much choice, unless I can somehow join the HRE before then. Hopefully, Ottoman will take some time to uh, take care of Kandor. Kandor has no allies. Oh, that's a huge... Oh my god. They're gonna arrive on 5th of October. I'll be there on the 4th. Hey, Serbia, help! Good, Serbia's coming. I was just... I just have to survive. With Skandergaard. I'm looking at this! Oh, ow, ow, ow. Serbia, four days. Two, three, four. Okay, Serbia's here. Come on, Serbia, let's do this! Drive the nation back to the sea! Beautiful. Sally, Serbia keeps insisting on not, uh, what do you call it, uh, attaching to me. Serbia? What are you doing? Okay, you're fleeing to Corfu. Please don't tell me you've given anyone military access. You did not. Not in Bosnia, that's excellent. Just odd, because Serbia could ask Bosnia for military access. Can I ask them for military access? Because I want to see John Damitia, if at all possible. Hungary is guaranteed in of Serbia, not in uh, my independence. They have not given anyone military access. Here's the thing, if Austria or Hungary gives Venice military access, we're screwed, because Venice has a much bigger army than us. Well, not that much bigger. Hmm. I need a bigger army myself. I'm losing money, but that's okay. Uh, is there any way I can increase my force limit? I... Okay, actually, that's a good question. Could I increase my force limit easily? Because if I could, I will. Um, armies... Albania force limit is... 0.6 from Lezzi. Which means I have to develop it four times. I can't afford to develop it four times. Oh well! Also, how much of this is orthodox? Only this province of Lesi and Serbia. Hmm. Well, I was supposed to trying to know CB Serbia because now they're my only, uh, they're my lifeline, funny enough. Okay, well, I guess now we just wait. And oh, look at the time. I'm gonna cut the episode here, so I hope you enjoy this episode, and I will see you guys next time for more of Albania. I don't know, I haven't given the series a name yet. I guess I'll come up with one in the post editing. By the way, I'll see you next time.